Welcome back to the lab. In this segment, we're going to talk about using the Vernier spectrometer with the Vernier LabQuest. The setup is as follows. We have the SpectroViz spectrometer plugged in via a USB port into the LabQuest. Once we turn on the LabQuest, we see that it tells us that we're going to be reading absorbance values in full spectrum mode, and that's the correct starting point. With any spectroscopy experiment, we always need to acquire a blank spectrum. So to do that, I'm going to fill my cuvette with my blanking solvent. In this case, it's going to be deionized water. And I'm going to fill that cuvette until it's about two-thirds full with water, clean the sides of the cuvette with a Kim wipe, and then insert it into the spectrometer. Now the spectrometer's light path goes from here where there's the little light bulb to the sensor. So I have to make sure that the clear windows of the cuvette are facing in that direction. Okay. Back at the lab quest, I'm now going to click the red box, or tap the red box and hit calibrate. And that calibrate is going to blank the instrument. The first thing it's going to do is ask you to warm up the spectrometer for 60 seconds. So we're going to let 60 seconds occur, pass, and we'll let it warm up. Okay, the 60 seconds has passed and our warm-up is complete, so we're going to click Finish Calibration. When we finish the calibration, it will take a few seconds and then the OK button will be illuminated. So I'll click OK and we now have a blank spectrum. It doesn't look like anything uh, because we just have a blank. I'm now going to take my cuvette out and trade it for my solution that I'm going to test. So I'm going to pour my solution into my waste beaker and fill it with my test solution. I'm going to fill my cuvette once to rinse it, dispense that out, and then fill it again about two-thirds full. Okay. Clean off the sides of the cuvette again so the windows are clear and clean, and insert it into the spectrometer. Now this is going to require a full spectrum analysis, a full spectrum of the, of the solution. So I see here that it says full spectrum and I'm going to hit the play button. When I hit the play button, it'll switch to the graph screen and I'll get a very nice absorbance spectrum of my solution. When I'm satisfied with that, I'll then hit the stop button. Now it reads the maximum of the spectrum as well as displays the whole spectrum with the color of the absorbance right behind it. Okay. And that might be the end of the run. In that case, if I just wanted a, one simple absorbance spectrum, I would go to File, and then Save or Export the file as needed. Okay. Now in the case that I actually want to uh, run an experiment at a specific wavelength, instead of running a full spectrum, I would then go back to the original screen, and in this case, I would click the red box and then click Change Wavelength. Okay. When I click Change Wavelength, it will automatically highlight the maximum absorbance, which in this case is 524 nanometers. So I'll click OK, because usually we want to look at the maximum. And I'm going to change my mode, instead of being full spectrum, to look at a selected event. So I'm going to click the small drop-down box and click Selected Events. Okay. And the units in this case, we would name the uh, experiment and insert units, uh, which in this case would be absorbance. And we're going to click OK. And it will ask you if you want to discard the data from the original full spectrum, and that's OK if you, uh, if you didn't need to save it. So I'm just going to click Discard. And now it's going to read an absorbance at 524 nanometers, and I can see it's 0.911. And I can just read that and write it down, or I can begin an experiment. If I want to begin an experiment, I would then hit the play button and we see the absorbance here uh, with that little red dot and I can click keep at the bottom. When I click, click keep, it will then keep that one point right there and maybe I'm doing a kinetics run or some other experiment where I'm changing a concentration. So then I would have another point and I would hit keep again and then so on and so forth until we stop the experiment by clicking the stop button. Then we have our points right there we go to the XY table, we can see the different absorbances for the different events. Okay? So we now have two ways of which we can acquire a spectrum, either full spectrum or with selected events. When I'm done with my data and exported it as needed, I remove my cuvette from the spectrometer, pour it into the waste beaker, 
rinse it out. And then we come back to the spectrometer and when all the experiments are done, we simply power down the spectrometer. So we have two nice ways which we can acquire an absorbent spectrum using the LabQuest spectrometer.